Hi, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. I'm going to show you the uh, Keystone Retreat. This is a residential travel trailer designed to go on a piece of property or up at the favorite lake spot. Anyway, let's do a walk around on this unit and I'll show you all the key features about it. We get to license this as an RV, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we do have a big 30 gallon uh, propane cylinders up here. Now if you're putting on a piece of property, you could have, hook up an auxiliary big tank. Fiberglass front shield up here. It well insulated. Nice big picture windows on the outside. This is a very reasonably priced living uh, trailer that, you know, is residential. It'll have uh, aluminum siding on here. Nice thing about aluminum siding is if it were to get damaged, it's replaceable. This will use spun fiberglass for insulation. You notice we have jacks on here, so we can settle this down to the ground. We can level the trailer with these jacks. Nice safety handle when we enter in here. We also got an extremely big awning outside with outside speakers. There'll be a radio inside that'll play music out here if you want to. Big patio door. Like I said, this is residential. Nice, easy three step to get up into the uh, trailer. Now, in this particular unit, compared to regular travel trailers, it's a 16 gallon output hot water heater. They superheat the water going into it so it lasts longer. 16 gallons. We got large 16 inch tires on here with uh, easy lube axles. The point about that is, you know, let's say you have it sitting on your property for six months out of the year and then you're moving it to another spot, I can grease the axles real easy with a grease gun. It'll grease the inner bearing as well as the outer. Because you're sitting, uh, you can put new grease in there real easily without ruining the bearings out there. So that's a key issue on this. Of course, we have another triple step in here. This leads into the back uh, bedroom on this particular unit. So if you have guests and you want to slip out and go outside and go fishing on your property up at Lake Merwin, let's say you have a place up there, you can get out of the bedroom real easy in there. Again, this is the uh, retreat by Keystone, which is built in uh, Grand Oregon or Pendleton in that vicinity. And we have a lot of other floor plans here at B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. The nice thing about the retreat, it has a lot of features that other coaches or RVs that go on properties do not have. All right, uh, so for one thing, we have two slides on this unit. Uh, what I like are the seals that the retreat has, the Keystones put on these things, is that there are actually four sections of rubber in here uh, to seal this slide out. And that's always an issue with people, you know, and they, they put four seals on here. There's actually a drain, so when this comes in, let's say you're pulling this in for storage, you knew a rain, heavy storm was coming in, you were gonna leave for a while, you pull it in, you're not gonna have water dripping inside. The other big thing about it is this seal here is a bulb seal that is in a groove. It's not glued on. So many manufacturers just glue those on and Keystone makes sure it's in a, a, a groove here. So it'll seal up real well up to the trailer when you put the slides in. All right, so let's walk around this. Tinted windows, keep it a little cooler. You don't have to, the great thing about this, I also don't have to put stands underneath this when I'm using it to hold a support. The uh, rack and pinion system on this is one of the strongest it's made. Okay, we'll walk back over here. Of course, um, you know, we're gonna have uh, a 50 amp service to this because this is the residential side. So this uses a marine plug system on it. You screw it on and uh, it's a big heavy cord about that big around. Uh, outside shower hot and cold so you know if you're up down at the lake there you come back with your dog you can rinse them off out here instead of taking them inside your home uh, we also have a black flush so you know being this is sitting and you have sewer hookup unlike a toilet that just goes straight down into the tube you know this goes in it has a holding tank on it 
because it is licensed as a, a recreational vehicle, so you can flush that out. It's a great tool. This is your uh, city water connection or park water connection. This is the back of your furnace, of course. Again, I told you that you know this is an RV. We do have holding tanks on here, so gee, I don't know. Maybe I want to make a trip to Yellowstone. I could take this unit behind my uh, big truck. All right, so we do have holding tanks on here. This is the back bedroom slide on this particular model. Again, we carry a lot of models uh, here at uh, B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. Uh, there's storage under the bed here. See nice plywood, smooth plywood decking in here. So you could stuff whatever you want out here, your lawn chairs and stuff uh, uh, when you're away from the unit and going back to your home. This is that big heavy 50 amp cord now let's say you say you only got 30 amp service up there well that's easy just put an adapter on it all right we're gonna lock this up so I don't lose that we'll walk around to the back you now have a nice big heavy bumper to put the sewer hose in a few more little electrical connections back here well this is your cable excuse me and uh, telephone but now everybody's got cells but anyway in case you want to put a landline in there you can hook that up there all right, again, the tires, you'll notice these are eight lug wheels, heavy duty axles, so when you're hauling this 39 foot unit to your place, you don't have to worry about the axles breaking down. All right, let, we've looked at the outside, let's take a look inside, all right? All right, let me show you the inside of this retreat. Light switches are handy right up in here. TV's up here. You can swing this out to be able to reach all the chairs here. Everybody can see it. Or you can swing it this way. You notice there's a fireplace. The fireplace, you can either use it for aesthetics on a romantic evening when the sun's setting, or you can have heat come out of it so you can save some of the propane you have out there. So it will put out heat. We do use the Jensen radio here, which is one of the top ones in the industry. Uh, it has for speakers inside, outside, or you can have both or either one. It is a DVD player, so it's tied to the TV set. Very reliable product. All right. We also have uh, you know, a nice cabinet above the TV to put your uh, CDs or DVDs in there. You'll notice the nice wood blinds in here. really gives a nice look to this trailer. Uh, end tables in here. Uh, they are movable. All right, so that's a real key thing. Of course, this sofa is a residential hide-a-bed sofa. Nice and cushioned. You, you know, when you're sitting on it, you can really relax with it. Um, it's residential, it's really nice. Carpeted in this section of it, uh, you know, so if you're in your socks or barefooted, you're not getting cold feet. Again, then we have a nice lounger here, which can be moved. It is kind of a hip hugger style. You see, I didn't have to move it, and I can go ahead and watch TV right over here. You know, there's something I forgot to tell you. Have you noticed how enormously high these ceilings are in here? This is just like your house. You gotta be at least eight foot ceilings in here. Now we're going to go into the bathroom and the bedroom. It's a nice solid door here going into the bathroom. Beautiful sink here, the raised sink. The thing about that is you have more room, counter space here to put your comb, your shampoos or whatever and not stick them all up in the medicine cabinet, soap. So it gives it a huge counter space by using that bowl without having to build a huge sink in here. Look at the size of that shower. Holy mackerel. Nice and solid. Got lots of elbow room in here. Notice the toilet, China bowl toilet. Not a plastic toilet. Key to that is straight through and stays clean. No odors. Got a cabinet back here also. All right, if you decide you want to have a washer dryer and you're allowed to have one, you can have a stackable washer and dryer in this cabinet in here or it's one huge cabinet for hanging stuff because the shelves are removable in here. Otherwise, it's already plumbed for a washer dryer in here. All right, back here in the bedroom, you'll notice the size of the bed in here. This is a king size bed. Think about that, lots of room. And I can even get around here to get into the bed. The other thing is, 
we have huge storage under the bed. Look at that. And access from the outside also. Pistons on the bed there. Come over here. You notice that we got a nice big closet in here. You notice how the drawers pulled out? Nice roller bearing guide. All right. So this is a six drawer cabinet. Three here, three here. Nice countertop up here if you want to put a TV in here. You are plumb for TV in here. So you can either decide to uh, mount do a, a mount up here in the wall or wherever you want to. You'll notice that we have uh, nightshades in here. We're not going to use the wood blinds in here. Uh, so this will darken up real nice at night. You got another fan in here. Now this is a fan, no light, because we got four nice lights above here, but we do have a fan in here. A couple access lights on the side, and then we do have some pretty nice cabinets in here. You'll notice they open up quite wide. Hi, again, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. I invite you to come to the dealership and look at the vast and deep lines of Keystone that we carry here at B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. Now, I forgot to show you the beautiful solid pocket door with a beautiful balance up above here, and I'm going to say goodbye.